now I am going to solve this problem 311 in this problem it is said they determined the maximum weight that could be supported by this system if the maximum tension that can be afforded afforded by this T by this AB and this CAD cable as a 80 pounds right so the maximum force that can be supported by this AB cable and this CAD cable is 80 pounds so we are required to find the weight that can be supported right so let's say that this AB cable reaches the maximum tension right so let's suppose that that the tension in this AB cable is 80 pounds right so let me draw the free body diagram if this is that x and y axis is right if this is the positive x and this is positive y axis is, and if I draw the tension AB and the tension in the AB cable right so let's suppose this, this is that tension in AB and which we assume that this is 80 pound right so it has reached the maximum capacity right so this TAB can support up to a maximum of 80 pounds right so let's suppose that this is AB and this tension this force is making 20 degrees with the vertical right so if this is 20 degrees so then this is also 20 degrees these two angles are alternate angles and if I draw that weight so that weight is acting directly downwards in the negative y direction right so this is that weight and which is required to be determined right so this is that weight and if I draw the, this force right so this will be that force at some arbitrary angle right so if this is that force at this point A and if this system is in equilibrium so then this force should be equal to the weight of this uh, block right so we will assume that for equilibrium this force is equal to the weight of this block that can be supported by this system right so we are required to find this theta as well so now we will apply the equilibrium condition for that we will resolve these forces into its components right so then this force will have one component in this direction right and then there will be one another component in this direction right and this TAB will have two components one in this direction and another one will be in this direction right so now if we apply the equilibrium condition that summation of all forces along the x-axis is, is zero right so then this component is if this is theta so then and this f is equal to w so then this is w sine of theta and this is w cos of theta right and this is equal to w and if we resolve this tab so then this one is TAB cos of 20 degrees or we can write that this is AT cos of 20 degrees and this one is AT sine of 20 degrees right now if we apply this condition summation of all forces along x is equal to 0 for equilibrium so then this W sine of theta is in the positive x direction so I will write W sine of theta minus this AT sine of 20 so I will write AT sine of 20 degrees is equal to 0 so from this we can write that W is equal to AT sine of 20 degrees divided by sine of theta so let's say that this is equation number 1 right and now if, if we apply the summation of all forces along the y axis is, is equal to 0 so then this AT cos of 20 is in the positive y direction so I will write AT a cos of 20 this is cos component right so AT cos of 20 degrees minus this W cos of theta minus this W right so this is W and this is equal to 0 so now if if we write it like this so then this will be minus W and if I take uh, minus W from this so then this will be cos of theta plus 1 and this will be equal to minus AT cos of 
20 degrees. So this minus will cancel out and then W will be equal to 80 cos of 20 degrees divided by 1 plus cos of theta. So this is equation number 2. Now since this equation number 1 is also equal to W, this is W is equal to this thing and W is equal to this thing. So we can equate both the equations, right? So we can write it like this. So then this could be 80 cos of 20 degrees divided by 1 plus cos of theta is equal to this thing, right? So this is 80 sine of 20 degrees divided by sine of theta. So now we, if we apply the cross product, right? So if I multiply this with this and multiply this, so we will get 80 and before uh, taking the cross product, this 80 will be cancelled out, right? So this 80 will be cancelled out and then we will take cross product. So then this will be cos of 20 degrees sine of theta and this will be sine of 20 degrees into 1 plus cos of theta, right? So this will be cos 20 degrees sine of theta and this will be sine 20 degrees plus sine of 20 degrees cos of theta, right? And if I take this term into this side of equation, so then this will be cos of 20 degrees sine of theta minus sine of 20 degrees cos of theta and then this will be sine of 20 degrees, right? So now as we can see that this is again that trigonometric identity sine of theta minus 20 degrees. If we apply this, so then this will be sine of theta cos 20 degrees minus cos of theta sine of 20 degrees, right? So this is the trigonometric identity. So now as we can see that this is sine theta cos 20, sine 20 cos theta, right? So we can rearrange these terms, right? So we can write this sine of theta on this side and we can write this cos of theta on this side. But this is equal to this sine of theta minus 20, right? So I can write that this is sine of theta minus 20 degrees and this will be equal to sine of 20 degrees. So this means that this theta minus 20 degree is equal to 20 degrees, right? So this sine sine cancels out, right? So theta minus 20 degrees is equal to 20 degrees and this theta will be equal to 20 plus 20 degrees. So theta comes out to be 40 degrees, right? So now to find the supported weight, we can use this equation to find the W and we can substitute the value of theta in this equation. So then W will be equal to 80 sine of 20 degrees divided by sine of 40 degrees. So if I solve this, so we will get the weight that can be supported by this whole system. So this weight comes out to be 42.56 pounds, right? And since this W, this 42.56 is less than 80 pounds, right? So it will be okay for this system to support this much weight, right?